Okay, guys. So welcome to Team Talk. Um, today, let me share screen. We're gonna do uh, STIs, infections, sexual transmitted infections, and uh, and barrier methods. Vamos a hablar de infecciones sexuales y cómo prevenir. Okay. So let me share the screen. Okay. Okay. So infections and barrier methods. Let me press present. Okay. So just to remind you guys, agreements, acuerdos, respect, respeto, uh, confidentiality, so uh, your questions will stay here. Reporting, if you need help, come to the school. They will help you, okay? The school will help you. La escuela te va a ayudar si ocupan ayuda, okay? Ask questions, communicate, okay? Uh, healthcare providers trust adult partners. So talk to your people that are adults. They know more. Habla los adultos, ellos saben más. Tus padres. Make questions, preguntas. Okay. All right. So, sexually transmitted infections. Infecciones sexuales. Okay. So, STDs and STIs are different. STDs are disease. Sexually transmitted disease. But it starts first with infections, sexually transmitted infections. Empieza con infecciones y, pas, y se convierte en enfermedades. Okay. So what is a STI? Sexually transmitted infection. Okay. Infection, infección. Aquí está en español. Uh, an infection passes mostly through oral, through the mouth, anal, through the butt, or vaginal sex. Okay. Uh, two types. One is curable and one is treatable. So hay dos tipos de infecciones. Uh, y uno es curable y uno es tratable. So curable means you get rid of it forever. Treatable is that you will always have it, but you take medicine, you do things, okay? So curable is que ya no lo vas a tener, pero tratable es que lo vas a tener toda tu vida, pero tomas medicina, okay? So remember everyone, this today's presentation, uh, I want you to be convinced to every time you have sex, to remember to use protection or know who you're having sex with, okay? Quiero que se acuerden de esta presentación cuando tienen sexo, usen protección o saben, sepan con quién están teniendo sexo, okay? All right. So common STIs, infections. So there is a treatable, tratables. It is caused by virus, treated with medication. Okay, medication. So if you have a treatable STI, you'll always have it, but you have to take medication forever. Okay. Curable, curable. Caused by bacteria, insects, or protozoa. Okay. And it's cured with medication. Okay. Medicación. Curable. So, treatable. These, is, these are infections that you'll always have. Herpes. Oops. 
herpes. You'll always have herpes. Hepatitis B, HPV, HIV, AIDS. Remember we talked about this before? It starts with HIV and then it becomes AIDS. You'll always have it forever. So all of these, todos estos, siempre lo vas a tener. Todas esas infecciones, okay? But these are curable. Uh, chlamydia, gonorrhea, syphilis, trichomyas, trichomoniasis, and pubic lice, okay? So we're going to talk about each one, okay? So todas estas son curables y vamos a hablar de cada una. How does somebody, someone know they have a infection, a sexual transmitted infection? ¿Cómo sabe alguien que tiene una infección? Hmm. Uh, maybe it itches. Te da picazón. Uh, blisters. Uh, rashes. Uh, it hurts to pee. Okay. So, 70% that get tested test positive and they don't even know that they're positive. So they have no signs. So just, you don't have to have signs. You don't have to have, you don't have to be itchy. You don't have to have blisters to already have something in you. It might take a couple days. It might take uh, a good 15 days. Like COVID-19, it takes uh, about 14 days to show symptoms. Okay. So 70% de las personas, uh, no tienen señales que tienen una infección como picazón, uh, de sangras, orina sangre. Uh, puede durar como unos 15 días como el COVID-19. Okay. Okay. Infection, scavenger hunt. Okay. So we have to guess which one it is. Number one, I am only passed through six body fluids. Uh, PrEP and PEP are medications that decrease the risk of contracting me. Okay, so tienen, tenemos que averiguar quién, quién, cuál es. Uh, pasa por los fluidos del cuerpo. Blood, sangre, uh, semen, el semen, uh, other fluids, okay? And we'll see the fluids. HIV. El VIH. HIV. Okay. So you can transmit HIV through the body fluids. Por los fluidos del cuerpo. Okay. So this is the six fluids. The six fluids. Okay. Blood. Sangre. Uh, rectal fluid. Uh, fluidos de, de atrás. Okay. You do have fluids. Semen. Semen. Breast milk. Uh, leche de pecho. Vaginal fluid. And pre-ejaculated fluid. Okay. Fluidos de la vagina y el pene. Okay. So how do you test for HIV? You do blood tests and oral swabs, okay? VIH se chequeas con la sangre. Okay. Okay, medication to prevent HIV. So there is medication that you can take. Uh, so PrEP, pre-exposure prophylaxis. So these are just medications that you can take to prevent HIV. I've seen commercials. So estos son medicamentos que puedes prevenir el VIH. If a person is HIV positive. Okay, so if somebody is positive, you can take medication. Puedes tomar el medicamento. Okay. Uh, anti antiretoriral therapy therapy <laughs> hard hard medication 
and the retroviral. We have to go with syllabus. Medications used to treat HIV and prevent transmission, transmitting the virus to others. Okay. So there is medication that it prevents if you do have it. But let's not get to that point. Use protection and know who you're having sex with. No hay que dejar, hay medicamento para tratar el VIH, pero no hay que llegar a esto. Uh, usen protección y sepan con quién han, han tenido, están teniendo uh, relaciones. So HIV and AIDS are different. So HIV, human immunodeficiency virus, immunodeficiency virus. Okay, so it's a virus that whatever you get, you get sick. So basically your, your, your body attacks viruses, but when you have this virus, you can't really attack. Okay, so you can get like a really strong flu, a really strong cough. It can kill you. So el VIH te quita las defensas del cuerpo, te enfermas de algo regular y te puedes morir con algo regular. Okay. So HIV transforms into AIDS. Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome. Okay, it, trans it becomes even deadlier. When the immune system is extremely weak from HIV, a person may be diagnosed with AIDS. Okay, so your immune system is what fights the viruses. Tu sistema inmune, un, el sistema que mata los virus en tu cuerpo no sirve. Okay, so it doesn't work. Your immune system doesn't work. And anything can kill you. A, vi a cough, a regular cough can kill you. Okay? So remember when you're having unprotected sex or having sex with somebody, remember this. There's a lot of consequences. Hay muchas consecuencias para teniendo uh, sexo con alguien que no sabes o sin protección. Okay? Consequences. Remember the consequences. So how is HIV passed? Through the blood, the sangre. Uh, fluid from penis and vagina, fluidos. And breast milk. Okay. So a baby can have HIV. How is it not passed? Como no, no pasa? Okay, so HIV is very dangerous, okay? So, but HIV, you do not get it through kissing, hugging, shaking hands, sharing a drink, sharing bathroom. No agarras el VIH que es muy peligroso por besando, abrazando, contacto físico, okay? But you could get uh, COVID-19 through all of these. Puedes agarrar COVID-19 con todos estos. Kissing, hugging, shaking hands, all of these. Physical contact, okay? So, you don't get HIV through mosquitoes. So, every time a mosquito bites you, oh, I'm going to get sick. No, you don't get sick, okay? So, no te enfermas con los mosquitos. Because they suck your blood, you know. Donating blood, they make sure they check if you're good. Uh, sweat, urine, saliva. You do not get HIV. Being friend, If you have friends that is sick, you don't get it. Okay? You don't get HIV. You don't get sexually transmitted diseases. You have to be sexually active with them to get a, an infection or a disease. Okay? So just because you have a friend or a family member that has an infection doesn't mean you're going to get it. No más porque tienes una famil un familiar o un amigo que tiene infección sexual, no quiere decir que lo vas a agarrar tú. Okay. 
Okay, number two. I'm not only passed through sex, I can also be passed through blood. If somebody has symptoms, they might include yellowing of the skin and eyeballs. Okay. Esta infección pasa por no nomás sexo, pero la sangre. Y los ojos te pueden ser amarillos. So what is it? Let's see. Hepatitis B. Okay. Hepatitis B. I'm going to show you some pictures right now. I don't show you pictures of a penis or a vagina with the virus because for that, I need parents' consent. So I need signatures. Ahorita voy, no puedo enseñar fotos de un pene o una vagina con las enfermedades porque para eso cupo el permiso de tus padres, una firma. Okay, por esto no. So you check through blood. Sangre, lo chequeas con la sangre. Okay, number three. I can be prevented by getting a vaccine which protects against some, some can cancers of the cervix, penis, and anus in the throat. Doctors recommend it if people are age 9 to 45. Let's see what it is. Sis. So HPV. Uh... So basically, they just want you to guess, but you don't really, you can't really guess. You don't, you've never heard this. Who, if you've heard it, awesome. If you heard all of this, it's awesome. But most of us haven't heard of this. Muchos de estos no, hay, no hemos oído de estas cosas, infecciones. So, si lo has oído, que bueno. Okay. So you test to... You do the testing and visuals. I'm just skimming through it. Okay, this number four. I can cause painful blisters on the mouth and the genitals, but only one type of meat is considered an STI. Caso ampollas en la boca y los genitales. Herpes. Herpes. Okay. So you get uh, blisters, ampollas. So you check through the blood, uh, cotton swab in the vagina, visuals. Okay. Number five. Along with chlamydia, if not, I'm not treated. If I'm not treated, I can lead to inf infertility. So there is some infection, sexually transmitted infections that you won't be able to have kids anymore. So hay infecciones que si lo agarras ya no vas a poder, ten, ya no te vas a poder embarazar. Okay. So gonorrhea and chlamydia. Okay. So with that, you won't be able to have kids anymore. No, no, no más babies. So remember when you have sex. Remember who you're doing it with. Consequences, consecuencias. So they check through urine, uh, lorin, and cotton swab in the vagina. Okay. Chequean la vagina. All right, this one. Number six. I can be passed through infected sheets, towels, clothes, hair, and skin to skin contact. I look like a sea animal. It looks like a little crab. So, este es transmitido por la ropa y por el pelo. Pubic lice. Pubic lice. So, there's two types of lice. Uh, there is lice in the hair and there's pubic lice. Okay. So that one, just shave, you know, shave, keep clean. You should already be trimming or, or shaving or trimming to keep clean. It's just cleaner, okay? Less smell, uh, just be clean, okay? So, hay este, ¿cómo se dice? Um, piojos, abajo también, okay? 
So, manténganse limpios. Ok. So, pubic lice, you just, you can just see it. Lo puedes ver nomás. All right, number seven, itching inside the penis, vaginal odor, uh, irregular discharge are some of the symptoms I can cause. My name is hard to pronounce. So there is infections that it will stink, uh, it will itch down there, and discharge, like, blood like you like liquid like blood comes out like yellow liquid hay este infecciones que te pica que apesta y que sale como líquidos amarillos blancos okay trichomoniasis trichomoniasis Okay, so you check just through cotton swab. Okay, just the cotton swab to the vagina. Number eight, I can cause burning during urination when you pee. It hurts to pee. Pain in the lower abdomen, abdomen, testicles, or vagina, or yellow or green discharge. Again, the discharge. I'm going to show you. A picture of a discharge right now, but don't worry, it won't have uh, a penis or vagina. Okay. Like many STIs, I can be passed from mother to child during childbirth. So, te duele para orinar. Dolor. Comiria. Comiria. Check the urine, cotton swab. Number nine, we're almost done. I have many stages. The first stage can begin with chancre. <laughs> Source, the final stage can result in heart disease or even death. So since I can cause sores, I can also be passed through skin-to-skin -skin contact. Uh, ampollas, sores, okay? You can die. And if it gets really bad, te puedes morir si se convierte muy mal. And it's skin to skin. Puede pasar con la piel. Okay? So careful. Syphilis. If you're curious of all of these, with the parents' permission, Google syphilis and all these uh, diseases, okay? Si tienen curiosidad, uh, pero con el permiso de sus padres, chequen lo que es Photos, okay? So, blood, cotton swab, visuals. Okay, who can get an STI? ¿Quién puede ver una infección? Anyone. Anyone can get an infection. Okay? Cualquier persona. Everyone. So, nobody is safe. Okay, everybody can get a sexually transmitted disease. COVID-19, cough, flu, uh, chicken pox, everything. Todo, todos podemos agarrar, los podemos enfermar de todas infecciones, incluyendo de sexuales. So what is the best way to reduce the chance of getting any of us is by? So any of the infections? What is it, guys? What is the best way to reduce any chance of getting anything? ¿Cuál es la mejor manera de evitar una infección? Not having sex, obviously. So by not having sex, abstinence, you don't get an infection. But I also have to teach you, if in case you do, how to prevent because many of you guys are having sex or are planning to. De todos, aunque les diga que no tienen que tener sexo, de todos modos tengo que enseñar cómo protegerse por si planean. 
Okay. So the most common symptom of STI is no symptoms. You won't get a symptom right away. So no vas a tener sin síntomas rápidamente. So 70% of people that test, get a test, are don't even have symptoms. 70% de las personas que se hacen una prueba no tienen síntomas. Okay. But you still have it. Okay. So 70% 70 70 of people test positive. So these are uh, some symptoms. Okay. Symptoms. So estos son síntomas. I'll put everything. So symptoms, some of them don't have symptoms. No hay, algunos no tienen síntomas. So it can be, you can have burning when you pee. Ardor al orinar. Unusual lumps. Okay. Unusual discharge from penis or vagina. Uh, unusual bleeding, sangrar. Usually, uh, usually the female, las mujeres. Uh, lower abdo abdominal or testicular pain, dolor. Okay. Let me show you some pictures to scare you. So there are some pictures of infections. That's HPV. This is your homework, by the way. You're going to have to see these homeworks. Esa es la tarea y te la van a tener que mirar estas fotos. So that's HPV. That's crabs. That's pubic lice. Uh, scrabies. Uh, gonorrhea. Discharge. Look, that's discharge. Discharge. Okay, this is descargue. The liquidos. Uh, syphilis. Look at that. Syphilis. Bumps. Uh, this is just a picture of chlamydia in your, inside your body. Herpes. Uh, herpes syphilis simplex virus type 2. Different types of herpes. And so on, okay? So this is your homework. Esa es la tarea. Uh, I'm not finished. I'm not finished. Don't leave. So you're going to have to go through all these pictures. Uh, si hablas español, gara la, gara las, la, esta, las oraciones, copela y ponla en translate, en traducir, okay? Okay, let me continue. Okay, list three ways to reduce the risk of getting or passing in a cities. Okay, ¿cómo vamos a parar? Okay, so by not having oral sex, vaginal sex, or genital sex. Okay, so no teniendo sexo es como no pasas. Okay. With no sharing needles, compartiendo abujas. Uh, use a condom. Usa condón. Okay. Both partners get tested before having sex. A la pareja se hacen pruebas. Get vaccinated. Vacunas. Communicate with your relationship. Comunicación. This one is very important. Limit the numbers of sexual partners. Limita las personas con que tiene relaciones. Okay? Don't, don't be jumping from partner to partner every week. No andes de brincando de persona a persona. Okay? Uh, so it's better to just have one to be having 
relationship with one person. Okay, es mejor tener relación con una persona no más. Because you communicate, you know. Okay, comunicación y saben quiénes son. Okay, so don't be having uh, sex with sketchy people that you don't know. Okay, no andan teniendo relaciones con alguien que no saben, no conozcan bien. Okay, this is very important. Consequences, consecuencias. You can get pregnant by the wrong person. Te puedes embarazar de la persona equivocada. You could get an infection, a disease. You can regret it. You can regret your decisions. Te puedes, puedes este, ¿cómo se dice? Uh, regret. Uh, I forgot the word. Uh, arrepentir. Te puedes arrepentir de tu decisión. Okay, muchas consecuencias. Avoid alcohol or drugs. You guys shouldn't be drinking or doing drugs. I know from the time that I was in school and I've been subbing, I know a lot of you guys be smoking weed. I know it. I know you guys be smoking uh, cigarettes and you be drinking. I know. I know. I can see. Uh, because I look your age, so you don't even think I, that I know. But uh, I tell them, but I don't know if they do something about it. And I don't tell you guys because, you know, I lose to your trust. So instead, instead of snitching, what I will do is try to influence you guys. If I catch you guys, I've caught some of you guys selling weed. And I'm like, you know what? I try to talk to them. Because if I go snitch, they're going to just hide it. So yo ha, ha encontrado personas que fuman marihuana en mis clases. Pero cuando yo soy como ayudante, um, no, no, no chismeo. Porque si chismeo, lo van a esconder y no va a pasar nada. Okay? So en, mejor ayudo. Les trato de ayudar. Okay, so guys, if you're smoking or drinking, uh, you might do something dumb. You might decide to do, I've, I've known that there's people having sex in between the classrooms, in the restrooms. I know it. There's, uh, I hear things. Okay, so you don't want to get pregnant. You don't want to get an infection, okay? Yo sé que hay personas que han tenido relaciones en los baños y en lugares escondidos. No agarren infecciones, no se embaracen, ¿ok? All right. Barrier methods. I'm hungry. Ok, methods. Ok. Condoms. Condoms. Uh, condones. Internal condoms for the girls. There's in, uh, dental dam. Dental dams. Okay. So this is a dental dam. So basically it's like a little plastic. A little plastic. And you put it in on top of the penis or the vagina. So that you can do oral. Okay. Este es como un plástico que pones para hacer con la boca. Okay. And gloves. We're going to talk about each one. Okay. Want this. Okay. Traditional condom. Uh, so this is a traditional condom. They're free at the clinics or the, or the school. Right now they're closed, but you know, they, they used to be. So there's latex or non-latex if you have allergies. So some people ha are allergic to condoms, really, they are. So there is non-latex. Para las alergias, no latex. Um, so condoms prevent fluid transfer. So you don't get infections or pregnant, okay? This is a girl condom. I know it looks weird, but basically, uh, basically, this is the vagina. You put it on top of the vagina, and then you 
press it, and this goes inside the vagina. I know it looks pretty big, but once inside the vagina, it's pretty tight. Okay. Um, so this is for the girls. Okay. And it does the same. It prevents infections, uh, disease, pregnancy. Previene infecciones, embarazos. Okay, so dental dams, like I said, it's like a plastic. I don't have a plastic, I don't know. Well, you see the plastic, it's like a plastic. Uh, but it's very thin, it's very thin. Um, covers the outside of the genitals, like I said. It's for oral sex, okay? So this, with this, you won't get an infection, okay? Let's continue. So gloves, want this. Uh, it's basically if somebody has an infection in their penis or vagina, you won't get the infection too. I don't know who carries these. Just know who you are with, okay? Because nobody carries these. No más sepan con quién están, por favor. Hey, video, video, uh, all right. Welcome to a tour of how condoms are made. Every day, more than 1 million condoms are produced at the Trojan Condom Manufacturing Facility. These condoms are made in many shapes, styles, and sizes. And every single one of them is tested to ensure it meets the highest government and industry quality standards before it's packaged and shipped. Condoms have come a long way over the years. With innovations in design, we now live in a time when couples actually want to use condoms to enhance their sexual experiences together. But condoms, no matter who manufactures them, which style, or how thin they are, remain FDA-regulated medical devices. That means there are government regulations to make sure your condom keeps you protected from unintended pregnancies and sexually transmitted infections. Want to know how Trojan does it? Come and join me for a tour of our state-of-the-art American manufacturing facility, and I'll show you how it happens. If you ever wondered how they came to be called rubbers, it's because most condoms are made from natural latex, a remarkably strong and flexible material that comes from rubber trees. This facility produces more than 1 million condoms per day. To get a sense of what that looks like, take a look at our manufacturing line, or dipping process, where we form hundreds of new latex condoms per minute. Custom glass molds, like these, are used to produce a wide variety of condom types, all designed to enhance a couple's pleasure. These definitely aren't your grandfather's condoms. 3,000 molds, just like these, are run on each side of the dipping line. The molds are dipped not only once, but twice to assure that a strong, thin film of latex is produced. A latex ring at the open end of the condom is formed to assure a secure fit. Then the condoms are removed from their molds. The molds are washed and dried for another cycle of dipping. The condoms are then washed in a solution that gives them a silky, smooth feel. All aspects of the manufacturing process are closely monitored and controlled to assure the condoms are consistently made to deliver a satisfying experience every time. Each and every condom is electronically tested and properly sorted prior to packaging. To do this, the condom is loaded over a stainless steel shaft, or as we call it, a mandrel, and the test pad is electrified. If a circuit is completed, there's a defect in the condom, and it doesn't make the grade. If the circuit is not completed, we have a perfect condom, an impermeable barrier to sperm and STI pathogens. Here, the condoms are placed in their final protective wrapper. These machines both electronically test and then wrap each condom. As the condoms are wrapped, they're simultaneously injected with a lubricant to maximize performance, protection, and pleasure. Two opposing foil webs are heat sealed together, forming the wrapper. The wrapper materials, which are carefully selected to meet stringent quality standards, are custom designed to protect the condoms and keep them safe. This batch here is being opened from the foil and tested. One of the coolest tests is the air inflation test, where the condoms are inflated to test for elasticity and strength. 
These condoms here can typically handle being inflated at 25 liters of air per minute. That's greater than the amount of air it would take to inflate a basketball. We also make sure that the condoms are free from defects by filling them with water. These condoms are then vigorously worked by strong hands in what's called the roll and knead process. This next test here, which we call the tensile test, stretches out the width of the condom to see how far it can enlarge and how strong it is. Most condoms stretch to over 750% of their original width. Finally, let's take a look at the chemical lab. Here the condoms are tested extensively by our in-house scientists. This is the plate test, where we check for consistent uniformity of the latex film. And this is the HPLC machine, where we make sure the lubricant meets quality standards. Although almost all condoms are used in less than one year from the manufacturing date, they're tested to have a five-year shelf life. Once the condoms are tested, they're packaged. Then, millions of condoms are shipped worldwide every day. So now you know how condoms are made and just how rigorously they're tested. It's pretty cool to know you're getting such a safe, effective, and quality product, right? So the next time you open a condom, you have more reasons to appreciate it than ever before. Thanks for taking a look inside. Okay, so condoms go through a big process to be tested. Okay, this is the process of como crean los condones. Okay. So, let's continue. So look at this slide. Uh, there is many types of condoms. So the free condoms that they give you in the school, in the clinic, they're really, really thick. So maybe that's why you guys are like, I don't like condoms, okay? But they don't tell you that there is like, really awesome condoms look at that they have like little uh dotted condoms rib condoms so that the girl can feel better even fire hot condoms uh glow in the dark condoms there is a lot of types of condoms hay muchos tipos de condones los que te dan en la escuela son bien uh bien gruesos no están muy no, 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 no están muy buenos, okay? So maybe that's why you get discouraged from using condoms, but they're actually pretty good. Uh, they're really thin, like depending what you get. So, you know, go to the Walmart liquor store, CVS, Rite Aid. You can get a packet of uh, really awesome condoms, okay? So use condoms, please. Don't, don't go without them. Okay. Okay. Condom steps. All right. So remember, don't put them in your wallet. Don't put them in your purse, in your pocket. Don't leave them in the car, in your backpack, in the hot sun. It can rip. They'll. That's why they rip. That's why condoms. You know how they got tested so much? Well, if you mistreat them, they won't work anymore, you know? Look, poking holes on it. Okay, so tengan cuidado. Cuiden el condón. No los dejen en el sol. Okay, where do you put them away? In the cabinet. Uh, put them in a shoebox. Under the bed. Don't put them under your pillow because... You might rip it, you might open it, you never know, you know? Keep them safe, oops. So ask your partner, do you wanna use a condom? The, sh the answer should be yes, okay? But maybe you can have some fun using some interesting condoms, glow in the dark condoms, I don't know. Better than don't use condoms, okay? Uh, tengan que pedir permiso a su pareja. Okay. Uh, check expiration, obviously. Expiración. Careful when you open them. Okay. Uh, put them on correctly. Put them on correctly. 
and they will show you a picture right now. Don't worry. It's like a, it's like a, don't worry. It's nothing bad. So don't put the condom like this. Make sure it rolls. Okay. Okay. Make sure it rolls, rolls down. There you go. Like that. It will roll down. There you go. So basically it rolls down. Okay. It rolls down. If it doesn't roll, you're not putting it correctly. Okay. But I recommend you those free condoms you get, try it on before you even do anything so that you're prepared. El condón gratis que te dan en la clínica o en la escuela, úsalo, trátalo para que sepas cómo usarlo, okay? And make sure to take it off away from the girl. Quítenselo no cerca de la mujer. It's respectful, respetuoso, and you don't get, make an accident. Okay, no, no accidentes. Throw it away in the trash, obviously. Tie it up. Okay. Okay, so if you have more questions, talk to a grown-up. Si tiene más preguntas, hablen con un adulto. Okay, uh, so what are some of the STIs that you knew about in high school? Did you guys ever learn about infections or diseases in school before? A lot of you guys I know are ninth graders. So you probably, this is the first time you hear it. Awesome. So hay unos que ustedes este, acaban de aprender todo esto o es la primera vez que lo miran? Uh... Do you know of somebody who had or was, who has an ST, an infection, or had it? I conocen a alguien que lo tiene? Remember, uh, just because they have it doesn't mean that you will get it, okay? Unless they're your partner. No más porque uh, conocen a alguien que tiene una infección. Uh, no más porque ellos lo tienen, no quiere decir que tú lo vas a tener, al menos que sea tu pareja. Okay. So, there is, uh, was, was treatment readily available and easy to access? So, treatments, clinics are free. If you have insurance, you should all have, all of you guys should have free uh, medical insurance because you guys, we are all, uh, low income, you know, most of us. So, la mayoría, todos ustedes tienen que tener este seguro gratis. Es gratis para todos nosotros. Okay. So, if you have questions, the uh, anonymous chat, the anonymous page is open if you have questions, okay? Si tienen preguntas. Next time, we will be talking about uh, sexual safety, as in harassment, assault, rape, trafficking, okay? Tráfico de las personas, uh, y otras cosas más, un poco más, you know. There, they can be a little, uh, these topics can be a little hard for a lot of us, for some of you guys. Just remember... Don't talk to strangers. I know that people walk to school and they've been kidnapped because they talk to strangers. So, tengan cuidado con quien hablan. Ya sé, yo he oído que a las muchachas o oh muchachos lo, los agarran porque empiezan a hablar con extraños. Tengan cuidado con quien hablen, por favor. We're going to talk about that next time. A la otra. Hold on. The... All right, guys, so I'm done. I'm going to post the assignment in a bit, okay? It's because they're uh, they're knocking. Están tocando. Okay, so I'm done. And I'll post the assignment. The homework is uh, easy. Uh, just question number one, you're going to use that site, okay? You're going to use that site. And there's three questions. No más tres preguntas. So I'll post that in a bit, okay? So we're done, guys. We're done. I need to go open the door.